Hi everyone, the reason I'm shooting this video is because I would like to give you a more detailed update on the Space Time Antenna project. This is a zero point energy project which is inspired from Bashar and also supported from other extraterrestrial civilizations which are helping us to understand the principles behind those devices and prototypes which Bashar described from time to time. Now, for the last two and a half, three years, we're working to develop this, to research and to see if they're actually working or not, as described from Bashar. And today I'm standing here to share with you that we have finally a result which proves that those devices work the way that Bashar described. Now, this video is mostly for those people who are members of the Facebook group called Bashar, channel by Dario Anka, because Basically, most of those people, they are more familiar than anybody else with the ideas and the topics with Bash which Bashar is talking about. Most of them, they follow the project from the very beginning and also many of them, they support the project in one way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. Now, Bashar described the space-time antenna as multi-dimensional capacitor. The, the way he described is that we need to, if we make it correctly, we need to have a higher voltage as an output. And this is what we get as a result, finally, after so many months of research and trials and errors. We have so many weeks and months doing our best to find the resonant frequency and we couldn't find anything. No resonance at all, like a dead circuit. Only The only thing we could find is was continuity. So we didn't know if we build a device not precise enough or not correctly or we did not conduct the experiment in the correct way and I was hitting my head in the wall so many times for so long so it was very challenging for me as well. Recently the things change, I start, start to study a little bit more about antennas, what is monopole dipole, how they create the energy gain, what is decibels and stuff like that. So this helped me to understand how to uh, introduce the input of the device of the space time antenna. From the other hand, we also did not write up to now, did not have up to now the right equipment. What we were using is, was mostly uh, amplifiers which amplify audio signals, but these audio signals, it's, they are up to 20 kilohertz. We made also a custom circuit boards which can create 200 kilohertz. We use transducers with ultrasound and anything you can imagine um, but we didn't measure anything it was again like a dead circuit only continuity it, it was nothing that you can measure and it was frustrating because we didn't know what what was missing uh, finally we get a new signal generator which can generate signals up to 80 megahertz and with decent uh, amplitude about 20 volts peak to peak which is very useful. We already had our signal generator, which is embedded inside the oscilloscope, but the highest amplitude can generate, it was only 3.5, which is not enough in order to kickstart this device, in order to make this resonator to resonate. So with the new device and with the new knowledge about how to introduce the, the, the input, we immediately find out the resonant frequency very easy. Uh, at th that particular case, in our case, it happens to be 4.3, between 4.3 and 4.4 megahertz or millions cycles per second. Now, when we apply uh, the input on the outer shell of the device, which is 20 volts from peak to peak, we just then measure the output, which is coming from the core, from the center, where is the Merkaba, through the central rods, it's coming uh, about 44, 45 volts as an output. We measure uh, this amplitude and we shoot a sh short video, we explain the way we conduct the experiment and Bashar explained that this is a correct way to introduce the signal and the input and these results are actually valid but nevertheless from now on it is better if we rely more upon our own insights, imagination and synchronicities instead of his own expertise, which is fair enough because nevertheless this is 
a discovery. This is a journey which we need to discover something on our own. And also, now we have enough knowledge to continue and many other steps can be taken and many doors will open since we know the resonant frequency. Now, of course, some of you who, who are more familiar will say that a higher voltage not necessarily mean higher power. And you are correct. The resonant circuit, usually when you have higher voltage, the amperage is dropping instead. For us to prove this and to measure this, we will need to take a little bit more steps. Uh, we, will, uh, we will need to amplify the input uh, because at that moment it's about roughly about 350 milliwatts, which is very little in order to be compared to make correct measurements. We will need to amplify this, uh, I believe, at least up to 5 watts, which is about um, 37 uh, dBm, and thus then we can use uh, other equipment such as radio frequency power meter in order to compare the, the power from the input and the output because I cannot use amp meter at such high frequency to measure the amperage and thus then to calculate what is the power in watts. So we need different equipment. We need also different uh, vector analyzer to measure at this particular resonant frequency what is the impedance uh, and to to align the impedance between the input and the output, thus then the measurements can be correct. But guys, there are many things can be done and we will do it, but the reason I'm shooting this video is first of all to share the message with you that yes, Basharo is right, this is a resonator, it is resonating, it is producing higher voltage as he says and he's right and also uh, although the voltage is only a little bit more than twice, the device is not full-scale built. To access different power levels, the device needs to be 1.6 times bigger, almost twice bigger, to access different power levels. This is just to prove the concept. And these concepts that we are proving is very important, and I will share in a bit why. But the main idea is that the resonator is working as Bashar, explain and uh, soon as, as I said we're going to know about the power levels uh, what is the most important thing here in this video I would like to share with you is that this device called space time antenna it is constructed upon completely new principles completely new understanding about what we know for kinetic and potential energy. We know very little about these two energies and they are the most important for us to understand. Um, let me explain why they are so important and what will change once we understand more about them and what we know about them. So you know that everything in life is in a constant motion. There is nothing which is standing still. If you are standing still on the chair, you are still traveling with 1,600 kilometers around the axis of the Earth. Your molecules, your atoms are traveling or shifting or uh, spinning in your body constantly. Everything in life is in a constant motion. Change itself, as you know, it's one of the things that never ever change. So everything moves. If something is moving, Okay, and have, this means I have speed. Uh, if it's in a particular direction, we call it velocity. Now, if something have a velocity or speed and have a little bit of mass, this means that this thing have a kinetic energy. Okay, and if everything is moving all the time, this means that everything have a kinetic energy. For us, it's very important to know this because we can transform from kinetic into potential energy and from potential into kinetic energy, we can create this transformation. But in our conventional physics, we know very little about those two um, energies. We know only that if something is moving, have a mass and speed, this is a kinetic energy. We have formula to calculate the strength. And we know about potential energy a little bit similar, you know, 
very, very few things we know about this, only this. But the way that extraterrestrial civilizations see those two energy, they see them as fundamental of all energy and all matter. And they can describe precisely their relationship in a completely different and detailed way. And this device called Space Time Antenna, it's taking advantage of this description, of this new understanding about kinetic and potential energy. And why they are so important for us? Because no matter what other energy we are talking about, chemical or electrical or radiant energy or, or for example, mechanical energy, we're going to talk again always for moving parts or moving particles. Maybe they are big parts, mechanical, maybe they are subatomic particles like electrons. We're always going to talk about motion. And this motion relates always to kinetic energy. So kinetic and potential energy, they are the basic building blocks of all energies and all matter. Because matter is crystallized energy. For us, it's very essential to understand how, what they are at their core. And many ancient civilizations knew about them and they built specific structures with different proportions or ratio because they knew that those two energies can be expressed mathematically, like in our case. And once we understand deeply the relationships between those, those two energies, not only we can create free energy and clean energy, we can transfer this energy from one place to the other with no wires, simply by using resonance. Okay? There is a completely different resolution of technology that will come in our planet. Because now we are using um, linear broadcasting, but once you understand how you can create structures of this or systems of these energies, that's then you can use different way called uh, patterning broadcasting, which is you use different patterns, different fractals, different harmonics, a specific harmonics which are compatible with any other harmonics and thus then they can move through space and time without resistance and you can transfer the energy from one place to the other. In other words, you will know how to overtone these energies and you will be able to create an effect which is uh, motion in a distance or power in a distance. You will you create many different effects. Our communication, it will be completely different. We will communicate in vast distances with no losses. The, all inventions that will be created in the future, there will be billions of inventions that can be generated in the near future once we understand the relationship between these two energies only, kinetic and potential, what they are actually. You know, you can understand mag magnetism, electricity, gravity, anti-gravity, centripetal force, anything in the physics, in the chemistry, in the bio biology will be related, linked to those two energies. And I'm so excited because the space-time antenna is built upon those new principles, seeing those two energies in a completely different and new way. This is an innovation that will change and transform our world, not only techno with technology, but we will see how we relate, how we are connected with what we call existence, with what we call life, in a different way. Because once you understand how those two energies relate, we, will, we can see ourselves as a part of a whole. We won't see ourselves anymore separated from each other or from the life. And the understanding of this can be even apply in our personal life in many different ways, with different analogies, can be also applied in our personal life. So this is why I'm so excited. This is why um, I'm following this for so long, even though we did not have a solid results. I knew that this is true deep inside of me. My intuition told me that I'm in the right path. And this is very exciting. Um, my my job here is to bring the link between 
what other extraterrestrial civilizations knows about those energies and what we know in our conventional physics to compare the knowledge to see what are the similarities, what are the differences and how we can apply this in a practical applications to create new devices and to see the things in a completely new and different way. Thank you very much for watching. I will see in the future to create different videos, different topics, talk about more. Now, since we have the proof, it's not only about sharing my own beliefs upon you, imposing my own beliefs, but since now we have a proof and we can talk about this and there is so many more information I have collected and I can link it in a completely different way and explain it from different points of view depends upon what knowledge you have on your background uh, if you have different knowledge that can be expressed in different points of view that can be related in a different way in order for you to understand it more easily uh, thank you very much again for your support and I will be happy to see you in the future in a different video thank you and have a have a great day